Guys, hi guys, it is Christina here. So today I'm going to be filming for you guys this video on me getting ready because I felt like getting ready and I felt like looking pretty today because I wanted to film a video and I'm going to be filming a talking video soon. So yeah. But anyways, um, I'm just going to talk in this video while I get ready. But also, sit down, relax, and get ready with me because that's what these are sort of for. So I love you guys so much and Keep on watching. I'm gonna talk through it because uh, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? You guys actually like when I talk sometimes. You guys say I'm entertaining. Hopefully this keeps up because I don't really know. But anyway, the first thing I'm going to be doing is applying this primer onto my lids. This is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This is great for neutralizing your eyes, getting rid of the darkness, and just uh, making your eyel eyelashes, your eyeshadow last a lot longer. Now to set that, I'm going to be applying this shade right here. This is from the Anastasia Contour Kit. This is basically going to um, set that cream product because it's a lot easier for powder products to blend with other powder products rather than trying to be blended on a cream product because sometimes the shadows can get stuck in certain places and be more con concentrated in places you really just meant to blend out. It's very annoying. I'm going to be going to my favorite palette this, I guess, like past month that I've had it. This is the Anastasia Shadow Couture World Traveler World Traveler palette. I'm going to be applying my favorite color in this um, palette called Morocco. I also bought Coco Lashes recently and I love them so much. The ones in Goddess I got because of Lusterlux. Oh my gosh, I saw, I watched her videos like before she, her and Desi Perkins, I watched them like way before they were even like famous, like more well known. Um, and I was like, wow, these people are amazing. They're definitely gonna like be up there on YouTube. And um, but anyways, yeah, Lester Lux uses Katie, I think her name is. She uses them all the time. So you know, I bought them. They're really amazing. I'm actually gonna wear them tonight. But uh, now I'm gonna be going to my Kat Von D palette, and this is the shade Lucius. These are weird names. And I'm going to be using that brown to deepen up that crease. And this palette is actually very heavy. And these eyeshadows are very, very, very pigmented. Um, but also when you dab into them, you sort of get a little bit of fallout. Um, but they're still amazing. And I recommend this palette, especially for people who always like to play around with different um, types of eyeshadow looks because this has like cool tones, warm tones, and just uh, regular eyeshadows and they're super pigmented and you're getting a lot especially for what you pay for. So yeah, that's also another thing about this palette. I'm not sponsored by Kat Von D in any way anyways, but um, you know, even if I was sponsored I wouldn't, you know, be dishonest because that's just bull crap and I don't want you guys wasting your money on something that I told you to buy that really isn't good. Now I'm going to be taking this shade right here. This is a, the tan shade called Lacious. Latest? I don't know. And blending out everything up to the brow bone. It's like a skin tone shade, honestly. So I just blended that out. Now onto the eyelid lid area. The lid lid. I'm going to be taking this shade. Bellini. I'm going to be taking the shade Bellini right here, which is just a nice, warm, shimmery, champagne type color. I've never had a, like, a Bellini, like a peach Bellini before or anything like that. I wonder if, I don't think they're alcohol color. I don't know. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty color. Um, a lot of you guys probably think that I'm like absorbed in like makeup and I'm just like, I love makeup, like it makes my life. Well, I do love makeup, it doesn't make my life. But I do like applying makeup just because it's so fun to do. I do it for the art of it. I do it for the creativity. I do it for feeling better on days that I feel like, you know, I want to be more put together. I don't necessarily think that anyone really needs makeup. It's something that we can all use if we want to. Yeah, makeup should be fun and makeup shouldn't be something that other girls either take each other down for. It shouldn't be like a whole like, I'm better than you because my wing liner looks better. Like, no, that's stupid. I'm using the Sephora Waterproof One in Blue Moon. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Awesome. 
awesome. Moving on to our skin. I'm going to be applying my Too Faced Hangover Primer. Like I've always been using, um, applying that on the TV back of my hand. Just two pumps of that, and then one full pump of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. Opal. No, in Moonstone. Actually, half a pump of that because that would be way too much. And now we're just going to scoop that onto our hands, mix it together, and rub it into our skin. This skin perfector, like the Sherman Skin Perfector from Becca, is absolutely amazing. I'm just going to dampen my beauty blender and then apply my Tarte foundation. This is the Amazonian Clay Foundation. This is great for full coverage looks. Sorry, I just stuttered. This is great for some full coverage looks. Um, it's also oil free, which is another thing. Um, but it does last a long time and I feel like the more you wear it, the more it sort of absorbs and looks better into your skin. Um, it, sometimes say like I cry or something and then it just dries up, it's not looking great but I feel like that's with every single foundation. Um, but this works really well for covering up every single, um, mark on your skin. Uh, not necessarily, not necessarily saying that anyone needs to cover up their imperfections, it's just something I like to, you know, just smooth away, especially for like pictures and stuff. But this stuff does have SPF in it, so if you want to take pictures and stuff, just don't, don't do it, don't do it. Yeah, I'm just going to use a brush, I'm way too lazy to damage my hair. But yeah, I'm just going to be using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Ebony. My hair is pretty dark, so I'm just gonna, you know, go with that. Get a little bit more of an arch, if you know what I mean. Uh, we forgot to conceal our under eyes. I'm just going to be blending that out under here. Now, to set our under eyes, I'm going to be taking the banana shade from the Anastasia Contour Kit and applying that underneath. Right under eyes, because then they really make your cheekbones pop if you do contour and everything. Right. Hmm. Now we're going to bronze on the face with the Anastasia Contour Kit once again. I'm really sorry. It's just all these products are here already, so I really don't feel like going to my room and doing everything. But I'm going to be using this bronzy shade from the Anastasia Contour Kit to do. The bronzing, and I'm also using this angle brush because it works the best, especially for really just bronzing up your face and not getting it too chiseled. Because I really don't want to go for that look right now, I just want to look bronze. Okay. Now I'm just going to wipe off that brush and then go into this blush by um, NARS. This is the NARS Madly blush. This one is just such a great um, shade, it's like a seashell type color. And applying that onto the cheek. This baby out. Oh, now we're going to set our eyebrows with the Anastasia Espresso Brow Gel. This one really does lock everything in, but the clear one is just 10 times better. Now I'm going to highlight with my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector pressed in the shade Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. Just take a little bit and apply it on my cupid's bow and see how like how like bright and pigmented it is it's like crazy uh some on my chin a little bit on my nose like so middle of the forehead around this area like just over here underneath the brow Doing the same Oh, 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 oh we gotta reset those brows. I'm taking the shade Morocco, big surprise, and applying that on our lower lash line. Now I'm gonna be taking the champagne pop once again and applying that on the 
inner part. Now I'm going to be setting everything in with the MAC Carbon Prime Fix Plus spray. This is really a finishing spray, not necessarily something that you get stay in place. This is just going to make sure everything doesn't look like a big powder ball. So we're just going to let that set into our skin. I'm going to be moving on to the lips next, but I do want to take off the product that is on it and I do want to moisturize it. I forgot to put on the scalp. So I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Eye Pencil in the shade Perversion and setting my lower lash line so it doesn't move. And some of it is in my eye, I admit, but it's, it's all good. It's going to go away. You don't want to apply too much mascara on your actual, on your fake eyelashes so you can reuse them. I just put Vaseline on my lips. I'm really not up for wearing like full on lipstick because it's not my mood right now. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for watching me get ready with my makeup. I'm so bored actually like I honestly don't even know what I'm going to wear. Who knows. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of it. If you guys try to look like this, well then tag me on Instagram or Twitter and let me know what you guys think of videos like these. If you guys like talking with me and getting ready with me like this and listening to my opinions that a lot of people don't want to listen to. Anyways, I love you guys so much and I hope that you guys um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys do like videos like these. Um, let me know in the comments below what other videos you guys want to see because I do look at those and I do like to respond as much as I can. So if you could leave a comment, like the video. That would be great. Love you guys so much and have a great day.